Hey guys, this is a video about when and how often you should use lifting straps in your training. Just right off the bat, I'll give my answer, uh, and then the rest of the video will essentially be to support it. Uh, I think for most people, most of the time, you should wear straps as often as you want to or need to, uh, and quite a bit more often than people typically do. Um, essentially what straps let you do is they let you lift heavier weights or lift the same weight more times before your grip fatigues. Um, and the counter argument people will typically throw out is, well, if you can't grip it, uh, you know, pulling a deadlift in a meet, you have to be able to hold on to it. So if you're, uh, if you're pushing your training past the point that your grip can sustain, then you might develop grip issues which could surface in a meet so you end up dropping deadlifts. Uh, I don't really agree with that line of reasoning, and the main reason for that is that you can train grip separately. Uh, when you wear straps, if they do allow you to lift more weight or lift the same weight more times, then you can train harder. Uh, you can train, you know, if you're deadlifting, you can train your back, your glutes, your hamstrings harder because, you know, you can lift heavier weights. You can lift uh, the same weight more times. You can probably do more set because your hands don't end up uh, getting fatigued as as the workout wears on. Um, you know, if you're doing rows, you typically do rows and stuff double overhand. Deadlift, you can use a mixed grip. Uh, so a lot of people, even if they don't have grip issues deadlifting, they might for, say, heavy rows or heavy shrugs. And especially for those, uh, it makes sense to use straps because you can often, especially for shrugs, use weights way in excess of what you would be able to to grip uh, double overhand. Uh, and also, you since you don't have to worry about your grip as much, you can focus more on the muscles that you're trying to train with those movements. Uh, you're not worrying about the bar slipping out of your hands doing rows, so you can focus more on your lats when you're doing them. You, you're not worried about the bar slipping out of your hands doing RDL, so you can focus more on your glutes and hamstrings. And then, if you do have a grip problem, or if a grip problem does develop, you can just do specific grip work. Um, the way I see it, not using straps, it essentially limits how hard you can train without really any upside. The only downside to using straps is that grip issues could potentially arise, but there's a very easy fix for that, and that's just doing more specific grip work. Um, so in general, I'm in favor of strap usage just because they let you train harder, and I'm in favor of anything that lets you train harder. Uh, the reason I say for most people most of the time, instead of all people all of the time, is one, absolutes are generally stupid, uh, and two, some people, especially people with small hands, um, can actually uh, lift more without straps than with straps because uh, when you wrap the straps around the bar, it makes the diameter slightly greater, so if you have really, really small hands, that might actually make the lift harder. Uh, so for those people, mm, well, don't use straps. Uh, and for everyone else, most of the time, wear straps. They let you lift more. They let you train harder. And then if you do have grip issues, just do more specific grip work. Um, but don't artificially limit how hard you can train your back, glutes, hamstrings, your whole posterior chain uh, just because your grip is holding you back when you do have a very easy to use cheap training tool and straps that could allow you to train harder. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.